Hello and welcome to this session. So today we are going to discuss about collections in Python and this is going to be very easy and very very interesting and in Python uh, collections are data types where we store array of elements and there are basic four type of collections in Python which is list, tuple, set and dictionary. Now do not worry if you have no prior idea or knowledge on collections on in Python or any other programming language we are going to go very basic step by step and this is going to be very easy and interesting. So let's get started and I will go to my PyCharm and I'm going to create a new Python file so I will do a right click go to new Python file and name this as Python list so we are going to see list today and here to create a list you have to use square brackets so we create list using square brackets and I can give any name for example I can say this is my list and equals to and within the square brackets I can give any number of elements so I am giving some strings and I am giving the name of some city so I am saying this is Tokyo and I am adding more names London and New York so I have created a list with these three city names and I can now use print so I can just say print and the name of the list which is my list and if I run this now I will do a right click and say run python list and you can see this is printing the list elements here also you can just use print and give the name of the list and then within square brackets you can give the index position so for example you can see we have three elements in this list and the index position starts with 0 so Tokyo is at 0 index London is at 1 index and New York is at index number 2 so if I say my list and index number 2 and if I run this it will print the element at index number 2 which is New York also I will show you the difference here so these are the four type of collections so list we use square brackets to create list it is an ordered collection it is indexed it is changeable so you can change the elements and you can also create duplicates and if you talk about tuple that we will see in the next session we use circular brackets to create tuple it is ordered indexed unchangeable and it also allows duplicates and set we create using the curly bra brackets here now this is unordered this is unindexed and this is no duplicate so it's, it does not allow any duplicate and in set you cannot change the existing values but you can always add new values when we talk about dictionary the syntax is within curly brackets we use the key value uh, system so we provide a key, key and a value and it is unordered it is changeable indexed and it does not allow any duplicates so all these notes will be available in the notes or description section of this video so now let us see some more list operations so here you can see we have printed a list and we have printed list elements now you can also say you can also change the elements for example you can say my list and you can give the index position for example I am saying index position 2 and I am saying this should be equal to New Delhi so now what will happen is let us try to print the list again I will say print my list and if I run this now you can see it has changed the element at index position 2 from New York to New Delhi so this is how you can also change the elements and you can use a for loop so you can say for well in my list and I will print all the elements I will say print well and if I run this now you can see it is printing all the elements in the list one by one in a loop and of course you can get the length for example I can say print length of the list and I will give the list name and if I run this it will give me the length which is 3 and then there are a lot of other operations that you can do so for example if I say my list and I say dot you can see you can have all these operations you can remove reverse pop insert append count copy clear extend index sort and so many other things so let us see some of very frequently used so you can do a uh, append so you can say append and then you can append something in the list so I will say append Boston and if I print my list now 
I will find Boston at the end and you can see it has added Boston at the end. You can always insert at some particular index position. So for example, I will say my list dot insert and here you can see you can provide an index position and then the object. So I can say insert at index position uh, 4 and I will say add Durham and let me run this and check it now. So it has added. So let us print and see if I say print my list and run this so you can see it has added Durham and of course you can give any index position here and then you can do the remove operations here so for example I can say my list dot remove and you can give the element here so I can say remove for example I am want to remove Tokyo from here and then I will print and check my list and let us run this and you can see it has removed Tokyo and then you can also pop so for example I can say my list dot pop now pop you can use in two ways you can either use pop without any index position or you can give any index position now if you say my list dot pop without any index position it will pop out the last element and it will remove the last element so let us see I will just say pop and print my list and run this and you can see it has removed the last element and it has printed the list now you can always select the element for example I am saying pop at index position 1 and then I will run this so now you can see it has popped out New Delhi which was at index position 1 and now printed our list so this is how you can use pop and then you can use delete as well so you can say delete my list and you can either delete the entire list or you can also delete some particular element so I want to delete the element at index position 1 and then I will print my list and let us see I will run this and you can see it has removed or deleted Boston and it has printed it and of course if you do not give any index position here it will delete the entire list so this is how you can use delete operations and you can use clear as well so if I use say my list dot clear it will clear the entire list and then if I print my list I will not get any element so let us see so you can see our list is now empty now so this is how you can use the lists also there are some other interesting operations that you can do for example I say uh, I will create a list for fruits and I say this is equals to I will name some fruits apples and oranges and cherry so I will just print the list So print fruits and then what I will do is I will say fruits dot reverse so this will reverse the list and then again I will say print fruits so let us see what happens and you can see it has printed the list here and then it has reversed and then printed it again so this is how you can reverse your list and then there are other operations you can use and so if I say my list dot you can see all these operations that you can use you can extend you can sort and all these things you can do with the list and also you can create a list with multiple data types element for example I say I will say my list to equals and in the bracket square brackets I can say apples which is a string and then I can say one two 3.0 anything so this is a valid operation you can have a list with a mix and match of data type also you can have something like I will say my list 3 and you can create a list something like I will have apples here and then you can have a nested list so this is again I am creating a square brackets inside and I am saying 1 2 3 and this is a nested list which is having another list inside and then again I am having 
I again a list for these characters A, B and C. So you can see this is a list which has this element and the other two elements are again list. So this is a nested list and if you want to print it, if I say print and I say my list 3 and I run this you can see it has printed the entire list but if we want to access some particular element in the nested list you can say so for example I want to access 2 here so you can see 2 is at this particular list this entire list is at index position 2 of this master list so I will say access uh, this is index position 1 right so index position starts with 0 so this is 0 apples is at 0 and this 1 2 3 list is at index position 1 so I am saying my list 3 and index position 1 which will refer to this entire list and from here I again want to access index position 1 of this list which is 2 number 2 so I will say 1 here again and if I run this now it should print 2 so let me run this now and it has printed too. So this is how you can use lists in Python and in the coming session we will see tuple sets and dictionary. I hope this session was very useful for you. Thank you so much for watching.